Hello, hello again to another Aga Color React and today we'll be watching Why are there stones along railway tracks from Science ABC? Um, what can I say? I have, I don't know. I don't even have the faintest clue why there's stones. Probably something to do with vibration maybe? Um, of the track? the tracks I, I don't know we'll see let's just learn because um i travel a lot with it on the trains uh, especially when i was a kid i really liked traveling on the trains so it's kind of interesting to know why is it is it like that so let's just go on any train journey you have almost surely seen those endless piles of stones that line the railway tracks at a casual glance they might look like regular pebbles but if you ride on trains frequently you may have noticed that regardless of the country in which you're traveling the shape and texture of those stones are almost always the same, all across the globe. So what's the reason behind that? Why do such otherwise unremarkable rocks line our planet's railway tracks? The crushed stones that line railroad tracks are collectively called track ballast. More specifically, the track ballast constitutes the track bed upon which sleepers or railroad ties are laid. As you may have seen, these stones are packed below, between, and around the railroad ties. The thickness of the track ballast usually ranges between 25 and 30 centimeters and varies depending on certain conditions pertaining to the geographical location of the railway track. Track ballast usually consists of crushed rocks or stone, but in some cases, less suitable alternatives like burnt clay are also used. However, it's important to understand that you can't just throw a bunch of rocks on a railroad and be done with it. As mentioned, the stones in the track ballast have a characteristic shape, size, and texture. Their surface is not smooth and their edges are jagged, and for good reason. These rocks interlock with each other and therefore stay in place. If you replace them with circular or smooth rocks, they would slide over each other and compromise the strength of the track ballast. As you might imagine, this can have catastrophic results. Railway tracks are made of steel and other metallic parts that are prone to corrosion and rusting as they are constantly exposed to the forces of nature, including extreme heat from the sun, rain, vegetation, and general wear and tear. The primary reason behind the existence of track ballast is to protect the railway track. It does this in a number of ways. Number one, holds the sleepers in place. Many trains, including cargo and passenger trains, roll by on railway tracks every single day. Therefore, it's not surprising that those tracks must constantly withstand a great deal of stress and pressure. Track ballast holds the sleepers in place so that they don't move longitudinally or laterally when heavy trains roll over them. Without track ballast, those sleepers might give way under the constant pressure of passing trains. Number two, load distribution. Trains are immensely heavy and exert massive amounts of pressure on the tracks and sleepers. Since stones in the track ballast are jagged, they interlock with each other. This way, the immense load that's exerted on the sleepers and track gets distributed evenly through the track ballast. Number three, vibration dampening. Oh, okay. Track ballast absorbs the vibrations caused by a moving train. The cushioning effect provided by the stones in the track ballast adds to the comfort of passengers riding in the train. To test this, next time you ride in a train, Pay close attention to how you feel when the train passes over a stretch of railway track without track ballast. Number four, huh, drainage. Okay. It's important to ensure that railway tracks don't get flooded by rains or water clogging. Track ballast comes in handy in this regard too. It prevents water clogging or the accumulation of water on or around the sleepers. Without it, water would accumulate on the tracks yep. and cause rapid rusting of their metallic parts. Number five, prevents vegetation around the tracks. Although we all enjoy swaths of land filled with green plants, grass, and trees, vegetative growth can wreak havoc on the strength of a railway track. It's extremely important that there is no growth of grass, weeds, or plants around the tracks. The stones in the track ballast greatly contribute to keeping out vegetation that could compromise the structure and strength of the railroad track. Number six, noise absorption. Really? A moving train is quite loud especially to people who are outside the train. The crushed stones in the track ballast offer a larger surface area than a flat plane. This greatly huh. facilitates noise absorption. Very interesting. When trains move on tracks that don't have track ballast, they are noticeably louder. Number seven, minimizes heat expansion. During the summer season, railway tracks tend to expand due to the heat. 
Track ballast helps keep this heat expansion to a safe minimum, ensuring the efficacy and safety of the track. As you can see, track ballast not only protects the railway track and its sleepers from the forces of nature and the stress of a moving train, but also adds to the overall comfort of passengers. Looking at those stones, you may think that once they're deposited in the tracks, they just lay there forever, without ever being disturbed. No, I don't think so. Well, that's no. not quite true. If the ballast is covered in too much dirt or mud, it will affect its effectiveness. It can cause debris to accumulate between the stones and negatively impact its draining ability. Just like the railway track, track ballast requires regular maintenance and cleaning. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, the stones are replaced with a new set of crushed stones. There are also machines called ballast cleaners that specialize in cleaning track ballast, which reduces the amount of manual labor required. It's amazing how such a seemingly random set of stones constitute the backbone of an industry that affects millions of lives around the world. <laughs> Every 10 minutes. That was cool. Uh, that was uh, that was funny, cute, informative, and uh, I was writing it with the vibrations. Although, yeah, uh, there was mu mu there's much more options and the reasons for for the having those rocks there as well. Uh, it was quick too, only five minutes. I didn't realize that. Um, so, what can I say? I, I really can't say much, but like, yeah, next time definitely, if I'm gonna be on in on the train, I'm gonna try to kind of pay attention to the fact how uh, we feel when we are not on the track, when there's track ballast. It's just, let's say, maybe on the bridge or something like that, although from my mem memory serves me right. It's, I already kind of noticed that it's a bit different, isn't it? It's gonna shake more, I think. And that was cool. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and i see you tomorrow. Bye.